Hello and welcome to DC Comic Sticks with me, James Sticks. It's October, which means it's every comic fan's favourite day of the year. No, not Comic Con, but Halloween, meaning you can dress up in public as whatever comic book hero or villain you want to. And it looks like Batgirl fans are going to have to get their sewing kit out because Batgirl has a brand new look for a relaunch of Batgirl, but it's still on issue 35. Somehow DC Comics managed to relaunch Batgirl back to a new start without putting it back to an issue 1. You can see this comic has a very fresh look, it's very modern. Batgirl's using her cell phone, like, taking a selfie. It's pretty cool. There are so many pop culture references in this comic that you'll have to read it twice to spot them all. Batgirl faces a villain who is all of our worst nightmares. He steals people's tablets, phones, computers, and then takes their data and humiliates them on the internet by using that information. It kind of sounds like the Leveson Inquiry to me. For good, the concise pains allow for a lot more of a story here in the comic than what you get when you have some really kind of glorious artwork that kind of just takes up all the pages. We have so much going on here that it almost doesn't feel like it could have fit into one issue, but it does, which is really, really cool. As of that conciseness, it does leave room for some of these glorious double pages. Our barber here is supported by an array of interesting female characters, such as Black Canary, and her old flatmate Alicia, who is a very peaceful protester. The bad? Very little actually. Um, you couldn't really complain too much about this issue if you tried. It is a jump from a very serious and intense Batgirl that we know before, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. I think readers are going to find that this is actually okay. I think long term Batgirl readers will find that this is a little bit of a mixture between the Stephanie Brown Batgirl and the classic Barbara Gordon that we know. Overall, I'm going to give this a 97% fresh rating. I think this is a really good read. If you love Batgirl, you're still going to love this one too. Uh, I know she hasn't changed, but it's just for a different writing style. This has only lost points because in a few years this is going to seem really dated, and when you look back on things, it's either really kind of cute nostalgia or it's just a bit cringe. It might have lost uh, like a point or two just because there wasn't really anything that needed to be changed about Batgirl. She was that cool, dark, intense young character that we all loved. Um, so maybe it was a little bit unnecessary, but hey, all is for the best in the long run. I kind of think that this new costume is a little bit more like Damian Wayne's old costume. If you love this as much as I did, let me know in the comment section below or send me a tweet on Twitter about what you want me to review for next week. See you next time.